are you going? What will you do? Hey, it's Megan. Brings the world to you. Thank you. Please stand clear of the closing doors. It will probably be a few minutes before I get Hi, so we'll just hang out. Volcano Bay right over there. And then a bunch of hotels. It's kind of swaying. You can kind of feel it move a little bit. And then down there is downtown Orlando. Yeah, there's one. I've always wanted to check out Volcano Bay. It's right there. One day I'll make it there. I've heard it's a very cool uh, water park. I think fun spot is right there. I think that's one of their rides. Tip the top. 
you're afraid of heights, this may not be the place to come. Looks like there's a putt-putt place there, like a pirate putt-putt. This is Icon Drive, right? In, or what is the name of this? International Drive is right in the here, so. I thought I'd go over there. SeaWorld, maybe? Over in that area? I'm not sure where Universal is. Maybe it's back behind us and I just didn't see it. Because I'm pretty sure that's SeaWorld. And then... Do you look way over there? You may be able to see like a balloon going up that's at Disney Springs. actually like this much open green in Orlando it's so built up you ex you don't expect this much of a like grassy area do you so this is definitely a fun activity if you are not afraid of heights you know it's a good way to get you know a good view of the surrounding area like to see downtown Orlando, like the different parks, all that fun stuff. So I definitely suggest checking out the wheel at Icon Park. Now, another batch of folks. It makes me wonder, I don't know, like you're more, it, I was thinking, would I be able to handle that and not freak out completely? And I was like, well, I'm in here not freaking out, but at the same time, I'm not feeling the wind in my hair. So, I'm sure I can handle it. I've ridden roller coasters before, so, but that, I think that might be a little nerve wracking, especially when we get to the very top. I have a bee in here too. So this is probably a good place to come in the evenings when they're open late to be able to see the fireworks over at Disney. So, pro tip, right? Because you can definitely see the Disney area right over there. So, if you want to see some fireworks, come over at night and write this. You can play your own music in here. You can stream it. They have an iPad in here, and all you have to do is connect your phone uh, to this via uh, your phone's Bluetooth. And then you could just, you know, play your own music while you hang out. And it looks like the lights change colors, maybe? I mean, obviously you can't really tell, but at night, I'm sure this is like, you know, turns into like a little party area if you want it to be. I need to get some tacos and chips and queso. Here's a restaurant right next to the wheel. Next to the wheel entrance right over here. Actually, you come out of that shop and then there's the weir wheelhouse market where you can get some tacos, pizza, sandwiches, and whatnot. I got some tacos from Tin and Taco. They were pretty good. So if you get a little hungry and want some quick service, this would be a good place to go.